Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKid1313, and today I am here uh, showing you guys something that I wouldn't normally show people. Um, this is a mod pack. This mod pack is called Solitary Craft, and it is by Hi-Yorky, uh, something like that. I apologize for butchering your name. Um, but anyways, Solitary Craft, it's a mod pack, and usually I don't like mo uh, mod packs. Most of the reason, because it doesn't give enough credit to the mod authors. Uh, Steam stuff. Um, <clears throat> the way that mod authors make their money is through downloads, and, well, when you use stuff like TechIt and stuff, you don't actually have to go to the mod's website and download it. You just click it, and it does everything for you. Solitary Craft is a little bit different, and this is why I like it. What it does is it doesn't, you know, automatically download. What it does is it automatically opens up the page where you can download it. Now, it sounds a little bit confusing right now, but later when I show you how to do all this, you guys will quickly get the point and know, uh, you know, why I like this so much. I, in fact, think that all mod packs should work like this. Um, so, let's go ahead and get started so I can show you how to do all this. You can see that it includes a whole bunch of mods. Uh, you know, the usual stuff, uh, build craft, additional, pi additional pipes, double doors, equivalent exchange, ender storage, all that fun stuff. Awesome. Uh, a lot of these mods I actually use in my Let's Play, however there are a lot of extra ones. Um, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to download it. I already have it downloaded though, so what we are going to do is we are going to go into our downloads, and we'll find it right there, Solitary Craft version 1.3. Now if you say extract here, it's going to extract uh, the contents of the folder, which was Solitary Craft version 1.26, and uh, yeah, it says 1.26, I guess that was just, you know, a little hiccup on their part, but no big deal, uh, nothing that we can't deal with. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag it over onto my desktop, that way it's a little bit easier to um, find it, and then I'm going to clean things up a little bit, that way you guys can see it right there. And when we double click on this, we can see all this fun stuff. We have config, how to install, 7-zip command line license, MC Nostalgia, Minecraft launch, Solitary Craft, all that fun stuff. This is where you can find all the um, changes. Alright, obviously, change log. And uh, so yeah, now we have this folder, Solitary Craft version 1.26. And what we are going to do is we are going to first place our uh, Minecraft.exe inside this folder. I'm going to copy it here because I enjoy having one on my desktop. So there you go. Make sure that you have a Minecraft.exe right there. If there's anything that I don't really clarify in this tutorial, please feel free to go ahead and reference this, which comes with the um, solitary craft. It's how to install .txt. Um, and there is one thing right here that I don't have to do because I'm on a PC. Uh, if you have a Linux or if you're on Mac, you also want to place the Minecraft.jar into there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say install. It's going to say press any keys to continue, so I'm just going to press any key. And it'll open that up, okay? It said please read, the, read this to understand how to install this pack fully, you have been warned. We're going to say, uh, we're going to press any key to continue again. It says about to run Minecraft for the first time, please log into Minecraft as usual to install, then quit. Don't play yet. So we're going to press any key to continue, it's going to launch Minecraft. We're going to go ahead and enter in our information right here, and just like that, we're going to remember the password and log in. Now don't worry, this doesn't have any like key stroke tracking thing, hacking, stealing your password, and any of that stuff. So there's no need to worry. You can see that it opens up Minecraft, but we are told not to play it yet, so we're going to quit game. We could then uh, we get then get this uh, screen and the command prompt that it opened up. Don't exit out, however. What you're going to do is you're going to press any key to continue, and it's going to, you know, do all that fun stuff, and it says, Installer will now download the required mods from the developer's websites. Please save each file from the links provided in the downloads directory. So, we should notice right here that we have another folder named downloads. So basically, when we want all of our downloads from, you know, what it's about to do, we want it to land in here. Now, if you are on... If you're on uh, Google Chrome, pretty simple if you don't feel like, you know, having it download to this directory and then having to change it. 
what you can do is you can go into settings, go right there, scroll down, go to see advanced settings. You then find here, and I already had it changed once, but we're going to change this again. And we're going to find wherever we have that folder. I happen to have it on my desktop, so I can go ahead and just click that. And then you also find downloads. So now every time that we download something from Google Chrome or the website, it's going to put it into the folder that we want it to be in. And then obviously, you know, you can change this after you're done with this. Um, but this is also optional. You could always download everything to downloads and then just copy and paste it into uh, where it has to be. So now that we have that, we are going to press any key to continue. And it's going to say, if I bring this up here, this is one, not uh, two two monitors will really help. Um, it'll say, now downloading Forge. Continue when uh, download is finished. So what you're going to do is you're going to download Forge, click download. We have it set up so that it automatically goes into the place that it has to go in. So then we could exit out of that. And also, we can then continue. So press any key to continue. And now it's installing or downloading Optifine. So notice how, you know, if the place has an add fly link, it'll bring you to that. If a place has a media fire link, it'll bring you to that. So it's really um, very nice for the mod makers, and actually doesn't even require uh, the maker of this mod pack to really get permission from the mod makers, because you know we're still going and downloading their mod. This is just you know installing it for us, um, you know, in a nutshell. So I forget, did I install that yet? Ah, uh, yes, I did. Okay, so we could exit out of that, and we're just gonna do this until we have all the different mods. Uh, so now, if we go back to here, now do downloading Buildcraft. If you have downloaded Buildcraft before, you would know that it's in six different parts. So we're going to do part one of six now. Skip add. It's going to download it. We can exit out of here. And then we press any key to continue. Now it's downloading part two of six. So I think, uh, you know, I can leave you guys to discover how to do this on your own. Uh, at this point, hopefully, you know, you know, you download it exit out of the window. You don't really have to exit out, but you know, it helps keeping everything, you know, managed. After the download is finished, you press any key to continue, and you're pretty much just going to download all the mods that it has you to um has you downloading. So, I think I can go ahead and do this off camera, and I will be back once I'm finished. One thing that I do want to note really quick while I'm in the middle of downloading all of these, um is if you um I just downloaded part 3 of 7, so, you know, click to continue. Now if you don't download it, what it does is it actually checks to make sure that you know whatever is in uh, the downloads. So if you were to try and continue without actually downloading it, it'll say that there has been an error in the install process. So you know basically what you have to do is you have to press any key to continue. You can go ahead and download it if you I don't know, did this on accident. Go ahead and exit out and then when you go back into here you just double click on the install again and it'll bring you through at least that part where it opens up the uh, the how-to and then you can continue as you were uh, press continue again and there you go installer will now download the required mods and it picks up uh, right where you left off at part five of seven so just wanted to note that real quick and I'm back to downloading alright so I'm back here and I just finished downloading all the mods um, now, after I finished uh, downloading the last mod, I pressed any key to continue, and it did a whole bunch of random stuff, and it brought me to here. Uh, it says, now updating Minecraft.jar. If prompted, please press A to replace to always replace files. So we're going to press any key to continue. It's going to go through some stuff, and it's going to say that it's done. So let's go ahead and press any key to continue. And it says, now updating Minecraft config files. Again, you know pretty simple and uh, yeah it says it gives you everything right here okay pretty much um, it gives you, you know all the mods that are contained it says all that fun stuff so anyways I'm gonna exit out of that and we're going to press any key to continue that's going to exit out and then we can go ahead and click on Minecraft launch now if you would notice it does uh, Hold on, let me try to get some stuff out of my way. It does have, uh, you know, a .minecraft that it, you know, puts in right here. Makes a backup of it, you know, all that fun stuff, so. Pretty awesome. We're going to log in. Just to, you know, show you that everything works. 
and uh, it's gonna take a while to load because it is loading quite a few mods. Um, you know, it was it was a lot to download, but I'm not going to lie, it's worth it. I mean, come on, it it was uh I don't know, maybe 10 minutes and I was downloading mods and that's it. And uh, you know, probably I don't know three of those 10 minutes I was spending I don't know forgetting that I was downloading something and watching other videos on YouTube. So, anyways, I'm just gonna log in, create new world. Let's go in creative, create world. And, uh, you know, just kind of show you that everything works, you know, so, you know, it could be proved that this is not, you know, fake. Uh, and, uh, so yeah, it's just going to generate the level, build terrain. It may take a while. Um, it does have, you know, the extra biomes or large biomes or something like that. So, I'll tell you what, I'm going to pause the recording here so that I don't take up too much of your guys' times, and I'll be right back. Once it's finished, I think it is moving a little bit. Oh well. Alright, so I'm back here, and as you can see, it just finished loading the world. And I'm going to go back to game. And it is going to, uh, you know, lag quite a bit, especially on the first first time that it generates uh, the terrain. I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen for you guys. I'm also going to edit some of the options, like the sound and the music. Um, put that down to normal. Uh, just because I'm recording, so it makes, you know, the lag even worse. Uh, so, you know, I'm just going to do a few things to help it, and then we can go ahead and just do this. Still a little bit of lag, and it, um, <clears throat> it's, it's a known bug that there are quite a, there is quite a bit of lags, there is quite a bit of lag when, you know, first starting a world, and that is a known bug, like I said, so, um, you know, they pretty much just say to uh, exit out of Minecraft, quit the game, and it should be better. Um, you know, it's mainly just because of, uh, they believe it's Inficraft, and you know, all the crazy stuff that it's doing, you know, all that fun stuff. So, as you can see, what was that? Okay, sorry, I, I pressed the key and it wasn't on. Yeah. Let's go ahead and launch it again, and, uh, you know, I'll go back into the world and just, you know, show you everything in any eye and you know, show show you that it uh, works well. Come on. Okay, there we go. So we'll open up single player, new world, it'll put us back into that world that we just generated. And there we go. Again, gonna make this full screen. You can see that in any eye. We have a whole bunch of stuff. We have, uh, you know, mo creatures, I believe. No way. Um. No, th sorry, that that's not a um, that's not mo creatures. That's part of Twilight Forest, I want to say. Even though I'm not too sure, I don't I don't use those mods. So, oh well. You can see a whole bunch of red power micro blocks. Um, you can then see that stuff. And uh, Iron Chest, Industrial Craft 2, you can see that stuff. Um, you can see Red Power 2 again, you can see Thawncraft, and uh, definitely you can see um, Inficraft. Um, so yeah, you can see uh, Railcraft and Forestry, uh, Ender Storage, that stuff. Yeah, I'm not even going to go over everything because as you can see, there are over 40, or there are 42 pages of uh, stuff. So there you go. I hope that you've uh, enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you uh, enjoy the mod pack. It's definitely really cool. And one thing that I do want to note real quick before I, uh, you know, let you guys go, uh, it does use quite a bit of RAM. But I believe that if you right-click on here and you go Edit, it'll open up. Um, you know, it'll open this up in Minecraft if it does. Or sorry, not in Minecraft. It'll open this up in Notepad. If it doesn't do that, then you know you can go ahead and tell it to open it up in uh, Notepad. But right here is where you can change the allocated RAM to your Minecraft.jar. So not only is this the mod pack, but it also allows you to tell it how much memory to give it. Um, so there you go. That's only if you want to change that and give Minecraft a little bit more uh, room to do stuff. So there you go. Um, like I said, this has been Drawing at 1313 with uh, Solitary Craft. Again, I really like this mod pack because it 
you know, helps out the mod makers and helps you out as well. Couldn't be easier. It does all the configs for you. Does all the, you know, installing for you. And I just really like it. So, again, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope that you go ahead and try the mod pack. And, uh, yeah. See you all later. Bye. Uh...